Ladies and gentlemen, now that news about the Switch 2 is coming out almost every day and we're getting some leaks, there's one major question that we have, right? What is going to be the launch games for this console? And in my opinion, that's a very important question because this will kind of kick off the initial sales for this console. Well, today, I think I might have found an answer for a major one. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Yeah, so when we think about the next Nintendo console, obviously we want to know what it's going to look like, but the most important part are the games, right? There's one game that I've been assuming for a while, and uh, I think that might actually come true. So before we get started, if you could, hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's go ahead and get right into this video. Well, not right into this video, I just want to mention quickly, I just finished the Super Mario RPG remake yesterday. That game is amazing. Some of the graphics in it got me very excited for the next Nintendo console because some of the cutscenes were so beautiful. The final boss was kind of confusing. I didn't feel like the final boss was the final boss, but uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing a review on this game now. I just wanted to mention that the game was pretty good, but now let's get into the video. So quickly, uh, I just want to go over these details before we get into the actual leak that I have. This is some news coming out right now, so I just want to cover it while it's fresh. Uh, Switch 2 hardware shipment information seems to be making the rounds on FAMA boards. Handheld right above the PS4 before DLSS. That is amazing, dude. PS4 quality above that just a little bit. In handheld, Call of Duty, Ghost of Tsushima, Cyberpunk, Grand Theft Auto. That kind of capability in a handheld, uh, I'm going to be set for the rest of my life. RAM is slower than a PS5 and Series X and S. Should have 10.5 to 11 gigabytes of RAM. That's strange because I think the Xbox Series S is only 10 gigabytes of RAM or 12 gigabytes of RAM. So uh, it's saying slower, but I'm pretty sure that's the same as an Xbox Series S. But now that that is out of the way, when we think of launch games for this next Nintendo console, the thing to do is always to go back and look at previous consoles, right? And every Nintendo console since the beginning of time has launched with a Zelda game or a Mario game. We obviously have the GameCube that launched with Luigi's Mansion, which is very strange in my opinion, and it might have hurt the initial sales, but Luigi's Mansion is in the Mario universe. I don't understand why they didn't launch with Mario Sunshine, but it is what it is. It's still in the Mario universe. The Switch launched with Zelda. Would it make sense to launch with another Zelda? I don't think so. We have Tears of the Kingdom, I think it's going to be another year at least till we get another mainline entry into a Zelda game. Even if that's like a remake of an older Zelda game or something, they could launch with DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, I just don't think that's the case. So then the next best step is a Mario game. Would it be a sequel to Super Mario Odyssey? Would it be a remaster of a Mario game? Would it be a Super Mario Bros. movie game? Or would it be the next entry in Mario Kart, which is in fact the best selling Switch game of all time? That's the one I would go with, and I'll show you why. So I found a couple patents in the patent website, and this was published uh, May 9th, which is the day that I'm recording this video. And when we go in here, and we start looking at the patent, well looky right there. But you could say, hey, that could be any racing game. And you're right, even though this looks like a kart, but let's just look a little bit further. Whenever you get hit in Mario Kart, you spin out. But again, that could be something else, right? There's other racing games where I'm sure you crash and you spin out. But look at this. You pick your character, you pick your model of your car, and you pick your wheels. But when we talk about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it doesn't look like this. There's not a character wheel, then a car, then a wheel. It's a car, a glider, and a wheel. So now do you see why this is making a little bit more sense for a new Mario Kart game? This is going into a little bit of the details, I guess, and how the race actually happens. Crash advancing, normal action, crash period, all that. But ladies and gentlemen, it just wasn't this one single patent that I found. Right here, as you can see, this is a Mario Kart track, so maybe you would jump over this. Maybe these are those little booster things. And then here's some item setting screens. So this is pretty weird. It's like, it could be a random item. Or maybe you can pick your item and as you can see you can turn it off and on. And then I think this is the probability of the items appearing. And this says situation table for 8th ranking. If you play Mario Kart you know the further you are. So if you're in first place there's only a couple items you can get. You can get like the mushroom I think maybe. The coin and the green shell and a banana pill. But as you get back further in 7th and 8th place that's when you get the really good items. Like the lightning bolt and the bullet and stuff like that. So I think that's what that's showing right here. And then look at all these items. In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I would assume there's probably 12 items or something like that. There's quite a bunch right here. 
There's a bunch of items right here, and this is a probability of them appearing. Ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, it makes the most sense to launch a next Nintendo console with Mario Kart. If you're like me, you're a diehard Nintendo fan, and you're going to play whatever game there is to play. But we have to think about the main audience. The people who just play games casually. You have to think about grandparents and parents who are going to buy something for their children. If they were to launch a next Nintendo console, say with Metroid Prime 4, if you're a little kid and you live with your grandma and she's trying to go buy you something for Christmas, she's not going to go buy you another thing that looks similar to the Switch with a game called Metroid Prime 4. She's probably like, what the hell is that? But if it looks similar to the Switch and it's coming with something called Mario Kart, she knows who Mario is, and there's a great chance she even knows what Mario Kart is. It's been around for multiple decades. I think it's the safest bet to launch a next Nintendo console with, and if I was Nintendo, which I'm sure they wouldn't do this, but I, it could happen, they would do a bundle. They would launch the console with Mario Kart, and that would boost the sales of Mario Kart. If every single person who bought a console got Mario Kart with it, and 10 million people bought a console, I guess in the first initial wave, then Mario Kart would initially have 10 million cells as a brand new game. I've reported on a couple leaks in the past on some teams that are supposedly working on the next Mario Kart game, and it's supposed to be the most expensive game that Nintendo has ever made, and the most graphically impressive game Nintendo has ever made. And if you want to make a huge wow factor for this next Nintendo console, you drop a brand new console with the best looking game that you've ever released of all time and that's sure to make an impact. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Do you think it's time to release a new Mario Kart game? Or do you think they'll release Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Deluxe Extra Super Ultra Mega Edition? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could, and I just wanna say thank you so much for the support. I think we are 40 subscribers away from 9,000. So thank you so much, and you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.